Here in this hall, in Yola, the Adamawa State Capitol, are members of the All Progressives Congress. They are here for the inauguration of the next level Buhari Oshimbajo Campaign Committee. They are inaugurating a team of volunteers to serve as foot soldiers that will embark on a rigorous campaign for President Buhari and other candidates of the APC. <laughs> Governor Mohamed Shibrila arrives at the venue of the event in company of members of the APC State Working Committee. This is documentation. There is a display of a document that will assist in showcasing the activities of the Buhari led administration by the coordinator of the event. The state coordinator of the group presents the document to Governor Mohamed Jibrila, who is the special guest at the event. The coordinator of the event says their mission is to educate the electorate on the achievement of APC government both at the state and federal level. We are now going into elections for another term of four years. So this is an opportunity for our ambassadors to bring to the general populace what this government promises to deliver if given another four years tenure. If they want continuity, if they want somebody that can give them more dividend of democracy, they should vote for APC from head to toe. All the speakers at the occasion reiterate their commitment to work for the re-election of President Buhari and Governor Jibrila at the polls. They reaffirm that the Buhari Oshimbajo ticket is the best option for the electorates. They appeal to aggrieved party members to put their differences and personal interests aside and rally round party candidates at all levels. The president of Nigeria is contesting with nobody. If you look at Adamas, his home state, and he's our in-law, we are going to do everything possible to make sure that he win the election. He already won the election. We are just waiting for, for, in, for his sworn for his, for his in. You don't cut off your nose to spite your face. Even if they are aggrieved, what they are doing right now does not bode well for Mr. President. Because we already have too much opposition against the president. If we don't have a situation where we have a divided house, we don't have enough elected members of the National Assembly, Senate and Reps, they are putting the president in trouble. Trying to appeal to them. The issue of um, parallel structure should not arise. The APC in Adamao State has been divided over the outcome of the last primary elections. This development, if not resolved, could be a stumbling block to the success of the APC in the state. There is therefore a need for party members to close ranks so that victory can be achieved.